What's going on dudes and dudettes? I figured today I'll teach you a little tutorial on some fun effects that you could do with Adobe Audition or whatever recording software that you're using. Because these are going to be simple ones. So I think just about any recording software on the planet could do something like this. So the first one I wanted to teach you is my personal favorite, which I have been using for Ghostly and Poltergeist people. I've also started using it um, right, right towards the tail end of the Mystery Skulls animated things is Lewis. Um, it sounds something like this. Mark my words, Arthur. You will pay. It's cool, right? Okay, so, and I know that one, when I first started doing it, I did get some messages privately. How the heck do you get to do, do that? So, today, I'm going to teach you. So here we go. So this is the dry recording. Mark my words, Arthur. You will pay threatening already but okay so what you want to do is first you want to reverse the recording and I'll explain why later so you're gonna go to any of your reverb effects I have a specific one that I use that gives it the right amount of ghostliness but doesn't go too overboard so this is what it sounds like in reverse just it's a little creepy so disturbing Okay, so you apply that effect, and you bring it back. So that gives you that little leads up to the spook, and then it gives you the dialogue. So, Mark my words, Arthur. You will pay. And you can get a little creative with this if you want, if you want to play with some more demonic-sounding recordings. Uh, copy a new track and make that one deeper. So this one sounds like this. Mark my words, Arthur. So you get those guys to work side by side, and it sounds something like this. Mark my words, Arthur. You will pay. Spooky. So, that is a fun one. That is Poltergeist Effect or Demon Effect, if you want to do the second layover. Um, normally, yeah, I would do these for fun. Um, I haven't met any clients that have specifically requested for you to do your own effects. But if you're getting into sound design... This is a fun one to practice with because there's a lot of ways you can play with that little ghosty effect. Uh, you could do a more studio reverb. You could do a long extended one. You can also... Um, Adobe has a thing called the Flanger, which kind of acts like as a pseudo double layer. It's called the Hell's Chorus. So it basically gives you modulation to it. So, so it makes it a little shaky, which I think works pretty well if you're working with, like ghost skeleton sort of monsters but yeah that's your first lesson i will see you guys around when i think of another simple one that you can do with adobe audition bye